namaste kings and queens welcome back to my channel i am intuitive flow if you're new if you're returning welcome back my babies so this is going to be for scorpio but this can resonate with any placement that you have scorpio sun moon rising venus or the north node south node i just heard yeah so let's go ahead and just hop in scorpio i really do feel an energy of a fucking energy and i'm really overwhelmed with the energy of you got me fucked up and it's solely because there are people you're going to be experiencing throughout this year um that are going to be direct reflections or familiar to things that you dealt with last year but you're going to seemingly handle them differently um i feel like because a lot of you went into solitude uh isolation you went within for answers um and you connected with their higher self just period um there's energy, Scorpio, where people just don't deserve your friendship. They don't deserve your partnership. They don't deserve your union. They don't deserve your connection. It's energy around, it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Divinely protected spiritual path, oneness, secret knowledge. You're divinely protected, Scorpio, and through this message, I want you to also be confirmed and affirmed that this is in fact true. Whoever tries to make you feel otherwise, they're just trying, trying to dim your light. They, they have no access to you. You are protected heavily. And anything they try to do is just going to simply get reversed back to them. Fear guides, I cannot make this up. Just period. My sister Alba was talking about uh, fuck around and find out yesterday. The ancestors don't play about us, Scorpio. And you know that. You know that for a fact. There's a lot of liars, manipulators, fake prophetess, um, people who are defensive and sensitive, especially as it pertains to spirituality. And I really do feel like if you are the type to be able to discern energy from the highest light, right, you're going to look past someone's um, demonic energy or ways or aura, and you're going to see straight to that light. And that's where you're connecting with them at. That's the level you're connecting with them. But because you are so pure you are so genuine and you are so divinely protected you won't have to lift a finger answers will come to you uh people will be revealed and exposed communication through synchronicity signs and downloads you're going to get for some of you guys you may have to take some time to really um discern things or analyze things before you make a move or before you say something Yes, and you'll be guided by your higher perspective here. 5D mastery, um, expanded consciousness. All right, and then we have stagnation here. It says, release the need to control this situation. Shift your focus. I definitely do feel like in solitude, in a sort of stillness here, Scorpio, you're definitely going to be um, connecting with your spirit guides, um, connecting with your divine self um obtaining answers within silence and you're processing everything that's going on right here and right now because god is trying to tell you something and that's just that on that you know there are certain situations as well scorpio that you're going to experience um throughout the year will where you find that certain people um just weren't developed or mature in their their light or their spiritual space or on their spiritual path and you tried to give them a chance you you gave them the benefit of the doubt um 
And some of you, you probably didn't even see anything negative. Again, things are just being exposed to you. All right. We're not fucking robots that we can just bring. Yes, we are intuitive beings. Okay. We're empathic. Um, but at the same time, when you are connecting with someone, whether good or bad, with their highest vibration, that's what you're going to see. God is going to reveal the, the undergarment of these people. All right. Six of swords. Yes. And carry you towards calmer water. Getting you away from drama, strife, negativity, people who are vindictive and conniving in nature, people who just don't know how to be themselves. The hairy font in the reverse with the seven of wands. You're blocking. Didn't I say fake prophets? The hairy font in the reverse. Source is moving you away from this individual. I don't know who it is. Could be a Taurus. Um, doesn't have to be. But there, this person, your higher self, because the six of swords and the hairy font in the reverse is clarifying higher self, connecting with divine self. So your higher self is communicating with you to move away from someone who is fake, phony, and not really practicing what they preach. Now, in what manner that may be, that too may be revealed. But at this time, it doesn't really matter. You're following sources lead and you're, you're being divinely guided by your divine self, your higher self. All right. This is someone who is definitely taking advantage of the power that they have or the, the community they have or some type of congregation here telling lies, feeding lies. Um, this is also giving me the energy of someone not really being directly connected to source. But they say that they are, okay? It's source this, source that. Got this, got that. But what are they really, are they really connecting with that? Or that's what they're using to bring a collective in? Ten of Wands. Yeah, whoever this is, they're covered in burden, heavy burden, heavy stress. Um, energy that's weighing them down because they have all these priorities and things that they need to do and they're not doing. They're trying to deliver from a space of, of heaviness here, all right? We have Ace of Cups for solitude. I really do feel like, Scorpio, um, within your solitude, within that silence and within processing, whatever it is that God is needing you or asking you or guiding you to process will bring about self-love. Yeah, going within. The hermit is essentially um, solitude, going down a spiritual path, um, tapping into your your true self, your true gifts, all right, being de being dedicated and stern about what it is that you want to do forward, um, or you want to do moving forward. We have the Eight of Wands with the Hermit. Yeah, I really do see two Scorpio. Um, some of you guys may be going into solitude after finding out you're pregnant. Look, the Sun card. Wow. Yeah, you're very much protecting your seed. All right, you you're you're very keen on the energy you want around at this time because you're protecting what it is that's growing within you this could also be a business okay this could be a new idea um, an adventure a project that you need to do in complete silence this is something that brings you complete joy bliss king of swords here all right being very analytical being intelligent about the decisions you're making all right, you're also giving great advice or receiving great advice from an older gentleman. It could be a father figure. Knight of Cups, you could be connecting with someone romantically. Um, this could be the father or, you know, mother of your child here. Uh, but this could also be someone trying to connect with you on a romantic level. But they don't, they don't, for some of you guys, they don't approach it that way. With, with the Knight of Cups clarifying connection. Divinely protected, spiritual path, oneness, secret knowledge. Yeah, I do definitely feel like someone has a, a, a message of love here. Okay, I'm hearing message in a bottle. 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have Leo out here. And Libra with the Justice card. There's a love connection coming about here for sure. Um, this could be who you may end up pregnant by. Or for some of you guys, this could be someone who you are pregnant by. But this is also a spiritual connection guided by love. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. I keep hearing entrapment. King of Wands. The Hermit again. For a lot of you guys, you have um, a lot of masculine male energy as far as your ancestors are concerned. I do see an older gentleman um, concerned about your mental health. They could be a Virgo or they could be a Taurus. Doesn't have to be. Um, could be an air sign as well. Aquarius or Leo. I'm also picking up when in solitude or if you go into a, a an energy of feeling um, mentally confined or trapped, uh, feeling like you don't have a way out. Um, some of you guys aren't connecting with your spirit, spirit guides enough. Yeah, the hermit and the four of pentacles and the king of pentacles. A lot of kings out here. Spirit guides. Connection through synchronicities. Two of swords. I just heard life path number two very strongly here. Making a decision to be guided by your spirit guides or your higher self. Or to be guided by your ego. Seven of pentacles. Making a decision to invest in your spiritual path here as well. Page of cups. This is something that's going to bring about a spark of creativity. You're going to see a new found individual in yourself. Once you take the hand of the most high and allow... The most high to guide you down this path. No more waiting on someone else to do it for you. I feel like that's where the feeling of mental entrapment comes from. Feeling like somebody outside of you, Scorpio, can do it. When you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it, you can do it. I really, look, Dev Car, Scorpio energy. I listened to this, Um, I watched this, this child show with my son um gracie's corner and like she always says you can do it you can do it yeah some of you guys with the page of cups need to tap back into your childlike energy yeah page of swords here get back into your studies start doing the work of grounding yourself because also with the hairy fight in the reverse with the page of swords there's something around yes there's someone in a higher position than you, but they don't know as much as you, right? This is somebody getting grandfathered in or something like that. This is somebody who knows somebody that knows somebody that got them to the position where they are. Where they are. But I'm, I'm hearing hard work pays off. Yeah, page of swords with the justice. All right, you do the work. All right, this is clarifying higher perspective, coming to a higher perspective as it pertains to your journey, as it pertains to mastering the 5D and expanding your consciousness. You're going to get that justice, all right? But be aware of not looking outside of you. No more looking to the left, no more looking to the right, Scorpio. All right, this is tunnel vision, full focus ahead. OK, anything or anyone outside of your your path or outside of you getting to your 
initial goals is a distraction. All right, creating balance within your um within your environment as well is very important. Handling different uh court cases or um loans or debts is very important, but your karmic justice is coming in. Just stay focused. Ooh, that shit flipped. Look, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands. I can't listen. Look at that happy family there. You can do it. You can do it. For a lot of you guys, that, that is your happiness. That is your focus. That is your goal. To settle down. Be with one person. Be in a monogamous relationship. Be able to raise your child or your children in a two-parent household where it's a healthy environment. All right, this could be something that you never had or you were never provided and you always told yourself, I refuse to have children um, in an unhealthy environment, right? Because even though you may be okay now, today, Scorpio, you went through a lot of shit to get to where you are, to get to where you're, you're, you're now reflecting on where you came from and you know how to make the, the right decisions based on that. There's information coming in in regards to your Ten of Cups. I feel like a lot of you guys tapping into your higher perspective, your Ten of Cups is going to be coming in one by one. Like I'm just getting, you know how they say, if it ain't one thing, it's another. I feel like with this Scorpio, it's going to be great news after great news after great. It's like, it's like a windfall of blessings just coming in. I just heard you should be expecting this. A mantra. I expect great things to happen for me. Things are not happening to me. They're happening for me. High priestess. Yeah, you should be expecting this. You already know. You already know. Release the need to control the situation. Shift your focus. The wheel of fortune. Luck is on your side. Divine intervention coming in to assist you. And like, I'm literally seeing someone pull you up, pull you out of this depression or this need to control things. All right. Knight of Swords. Okay. I just heard don't fight it. Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Some of you guys could be suffering a heartbreak or a heartache in regards to um, a commitment you were in where words were said. Um, someone could have spoken to you uh, very vulgarly, disrespected you in a way to where you thought they never do this. This could have put you in a stagnated energy or stalemate energy. Because it was a situation you couldn't control any longer. It's like whoever this was, you didn't even know who they were. Two of Cups. Yeah, you're getting pulled out of this energy, Scorpio, because God has something better waiting on you. Three of Pentacles. Um, it's I'm picking up on energy. Continue to do the work because everything that you've desired, you've manifested um, in the 5D is coming to the 3D. However, you need to release in order to receive. So it's like holding on to someone who could be possibly verbally abusive, physically abusive, mentally abusive, um, could essentially hold back this two of cups energy that God is trying to bring in. Someone who truly wants to work with you, connect with you, collaborate with you. All right. And then we have the death card energy with the moon card here. All right. Tapping into your intuition, not being afraid of the unknown. For a lot of you as well, with the magician, the moon, and the death, that's where you do your best work is in the unknown, in isolation, where you cannot be seen nor heard. I just heard this don't have shit to do with anybody else. I just heard a nosy motherfucker.
Let's close it out with some romance angels real quick. I just feel like Scorpio. <laughs> Why am I hearing fabulous ball drop? Listen, let go of control issues at the bottom of this deck as well. Some situation you just have to surrender to, to God. You have to surrender to source. You have to surrender to Yah. Like, it, it's better that way. Release that burden that you didn't even put on yourself. Somebody else put it on you. Honeymoon. Enjoy the blissful holiday times together. Some of you guys could have just had a, a, a really great time okay during the holidays okay uh december 31st or leading up to um christmas thanksgiving uh a holiday or some of you guys are looking forward towards valentine's day if that's if you celebrate that we have getting to know each other and we have the two of cups here so if you are in the process of releasing old love because the three of swords did come out Rest assured, new love is coming in, but, or, and remember, it's only going to come in when you truly align with it. You know when you're aligned with something. So if something is coming in for you and you know you, you aren't aligned, bingo. Stay optimistic about your love life is here. And then we have chemistry, baby. Baby, baby, baby. And then we have flirt. I got so much love in me. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Scorpio. I really do see you guys already doing this. You're flirting with someone. Um, you're staying opti optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance here. I love that for you. There's a strong magnetic connection here. I feel like this is all clarifying this two of cups. For sure. Honeymoon, getting, getting to know each other, stay optimistic about your love life and chemistry with flirt. And then we have reconciliation. What? For some of you guys, this is new. For others of you, this is someone old returning as the new person. I just heard returning as their higher self. Baby. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have. Like up on the video. Um, oh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you guys, I am open for personal. You can always email me at divinelighttarot at gmail.com. Light is spelled L-Y-T-E for live your true existence. Or you can text me at 951-444-8082. All right. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.